To apply formatting to text, use the following procedure. Select one or more cells that you want to format. Right-click to display the context menu, or use the formatting tools on the Home tab. Select Bold, Italics, or Underline to add these features to your text. And you may change the font color by selecting the font color drop-down. And then select the color you'd like. Use the Font drop-down to select a new font type. You may also use the Font Size drop-down list to select a new font size for the text. Alternatively, you can use the Increase Font Size or Decrease Font Size tools to adjust the font size one point at a time. Continue using the context menu to format any text you'd like. To format a number as currency without decimals, follow these steps. Select the cell or cell range that you want to format. And then select the type of number formatting you want to use from the number group on the Home tab of the ribbon. Since this is a budget, we selected the accounting number format. If you'd like, select the Decrease Decimal tool two times to remove the decimal places. To add borders to your spreadsheet, use the following procedure. Highlight the cell or cell range where you want to apply the border. Select the type of border you want to apply from the Borders tool on the Home tab. To apply fill colors, follow these steps. Highlight the cell or cell range where you want to apply the fill color, and select the color you want to apply from the Fill Color tool on the Home tab. To align cell contents, use the Alignment group on the Home tab. Select the cell or cell range that you want to align, and then select the type of alignment you want to use from the Alignment group tools in the Home tab. To wrap text and make it fit within the column, select the cell that you'd like to wrap, and click the Wrap Text button from the Home tab. To merge cells, highlight the cell range that you want to merge. and then click the Merge and Center button on the Home tab. This is an easy way to set up headers. Thank you for taking this session of Go Ask Debbie. Remember to click the Subscribe button for more of these tips.